everybody welcome back to my channel I am Hildy McQueen and today I'm doing a spread featuring Lisa and her plans she was generous enough to give us some kits to uh, mini kits to give out at our planner meetup and these are the washi tapes that I will be using along with it I love the colors because it has green and purple which kind of works perfectly with this week as we're the last day of the week is April so it switches over to purple I'm also using these samplers that I got at a current meetup and uh, unfortunately the one with the half boxes and the teardrops didn't have any kind of shop um, designator so I don't know where they're from but I will be telling you who the little um, samplers are from. I will put them down below just because I went by them so fast but this is a Ben's paper company that I got that one box from. I don't know if I remember to show the rest of them. But I am going to be pre-planning for the week ahead, so a lot of the stuff I won't be able to fill out because I am doing this plan with me uh, filming on Sunday, so it is the day before the week. So I kind of wanted just to go ahead and film me preparing for the week ahead so you guys would see how I usually do it on Sundays. Now admittedly, this planner is only for YouTube, but... Um, I won't be, which means that I won't be using it during the week as much, but I will fill it out so that to, uh, next week when I do the next film, I will show you what this week turned out like once I fill out everything that I have done for the week. Now I only had five full boxes, so I have to do something with the weekend to kind of fill out that center area, and what I d ended up doing was doubling up this washi that I will be using also at the bottom and then placing that big weekend banner on top of it. It turned out pretty cute, I think. If I do say so myself, every once in a while I can be creative. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the weather here in Georgia is really, really cold. It is a lot colder than normal. I am not digging it at all. So I am ready for real spring to get here, but if I know if I know my area where I live, it'll probably jump straight to summer. I think here spring means that we're springing towards summer. We don't, hardly, I mean, we hardly ever have a, a spring season at all. <laughs> so I'm thinking it'll go from it being 40 degrees outside to straight to humid and 90. Now through the washi part, because <laughs> I just had such a hard time with this washi, it was crooked. I couldn't cut it straight, but anyway. I kind of am fast forwarding a little bit faster through this area, but I wanted to just uh, take a few minutes to let you guys know that I am going to be doing a series on my book process on writing and and how my book releases go. I think it will be important, informative, not just to writers, but to readers as well, because I know a lot of you have asked me a lot of questions about my writing process, how long it takes me to write a book, where I get my ideas from, that sort of thing. So. My series is going to be um, called All About Romance and All About Romance Writing. And it's going to be, right now I have plans for six videos. So I will be weaving those intermittently between my planning videos. So if you just like my planning videos, then no worries. There's still going to be planning videos because I love planning. And I don't want to fall behind and have this planner be half empty. So. I will be doing one and the other. So right now I am, this is my plan, hopefully I will stick to it, to put up a plan with me on Mondays and then my book series on between Wednesday and Friday. So you'll be getting two videos, one during the week that will be about my writing, that'll be uh, about writing romance and then the planner videos will be later on in the week on Mondays I'm sorry on Mondays you will have planning Sunday or Monday I'll try to do it because uh, I usually plan on Sunday so it'll probably be up on Monday and then the videos on romance will be done in the middle of the week between Wednesday and Friday I am going to strive my best to do it uh, Wednesday or Thursday but we never know how that goes here I was going to um, white this out, but then I couldn't find the white out. I'm still getting used to my new setup and have to organize my little acrylic drawers better so that I know where everything is. 
And I think the best thing to do is organize them back in the same way they were before because it was right there. I just didn't see it because I wasn't had them on my left instead of my right. So part of my plan today is to go through and kind of rearrange those drawers. And that is in between doing rewrites. I'm halfway through my book doing rewrites. My plan is to finish rewrites today, but we'll see how that goes. So this week you had two videos. You had one earlier in the week that showed my planning for last week. And then this one, of course, will be up now. And so you still get two videos this week. But I kind of wanted to catch up and start doing a week ahead so that I have... Um, time to do my other series. So let me know what you guys think about uh, either one, if you guys prefer more planning videos or if you prefer when I plan knowing already what happened or would you rather see videos like this where I am pre-planning for the week ahead. This, <laughs> I'm still laughing now because I wasn't sure what to do about Sunday because it's both April Fool's and Easter. To me as a Christian, Easter is the most important, you know, more important than April Fool's even though I love playing pranks on people. But this year I've decided I am not going to prank people because it's Easter Sunday. So all those people that I normally prank can rest easy. I have pulled some pretty good pranks, I must say. And um, what else? I, I was going to say something about April Fool's, but I can't remember now. I got that little Easter bunny thing from a book and a a lot of the stickers that I've added on this spread have, are from the, not only the samplers, but also from the Mambi, my big idea. So um, the Mambi stickers, I got the visit, the Easter bunny from the Mambi stickers, the Easter egg hunt from the Mambi stickers, and the April Fool's day from the Mambi stickers, and also that Easter egg on the bottom uh, right. And then the stickers that I'm putting down now, those are from the little mini kit that I, I got from the Lisa Ann Plans samplers that she provided, or mini kit that she provided. That was super nice of her. I am saving the little bit of extras that I have because I know that I will be using them. They're, I mean, very, very functional. Love the way she did those samplers. I am writing down the few things that I think I know that I have to do, like check my book stats. I have to make a doctor appointment because I just switched to a new practice. I have to make some hotel reservations for a luncheon in June. I'm going to the luncheon called Heart of Dixie in Huntsville, Alabama. And then I have to do rewrites or finish my rewrites tomorrow. And then emails. Check all my emails. I have hundreds to go through. Do the menu for the week. And then I also have my call with my accountability partner. Uh, in the afternoon and then on Mondays I usually do all my laundry and I love those little functional stickers that are also included in this mini kit. You guys you need to check out her shop. She has amazing stickers. Anyway I do laundry and change the linens on my bed usually on Mondays. And then on Tuesday I know for sure that I have to drop off my tax paperwork. I'm already late with that and then hopefully finish rewrites but I'm hoping to have the rewrites done on Monday. So I don't have to wor worry about them on Tuesday, but I'm still giving myself a little bit of time. And then on Tuesday, usually what I do is tidy up the most like the front area of the house, like the living room, the entryway and the hallways. That area, gets, they get tidied up on Tuesdays. I like to, as most of you have been uh, following me for a while know, I like to do zone cleaning. So laundry on Monday. Tuesday tidied up the front area of the house. Wednesday I usually do the bathrooms and if I get a chance I try to do the um, kitchen area. And then on Thursdays I do uh, the dining room, kitchen, and then the, uh, the bath, not the bathrooms, I have, oh, the back rooms like my office and the spare bedroom that right now you can't even walk in because there's too much stuff in there and well so I do the bedrooms and then on Friday I do my bedroom which right now my bedroom is so trashed because the last couple Fridays I have not been able to do it so this Friday I have my work cut out for me uh let's see what else what am I doing now I'm on Wednesday I wrote down hump day Amelia Hopefully sent uh, Amelia and Autumn Bride to the proofreaders 
uh, and then uh, so I have lunch with two friends. I wrote it on here, but you can hardly see it. So I ended up using one of those half boxes from that I don't know where they're from because there's no shop name on the sheet. So I wrote it on there so you could see it better. That cute little bow is from Ben Ben's plans, and it's so cute. He um he attends my um planner meetups that I when I go to South Carolina. So I've met him a couple of times. Really sweet guy. And I will also put the link to his shop down below as well. So those bows are super cute. I like them. On the bottom of Wednesday, I put that I have a chiropractor appointment, much needed, and washi Wednesday just to fill in the we the space there. On Thursday, I know that I have to start writing the next book. It's on my schedule, and I try to do three. I'm gonna try to do three thousand. No, try to do. I will do three thousand words on Thursday and Friday on my schedule. Uh, Thursday is also my payday, yay! So I put down this little sticker and it's up for a bill due, but I thought if I put the payday on top, I can kind of in that little space put down the amount. And then I, I yeah, what am I doing now? Oh yeah, I'm writing down my writing, my words that I will be writing on Thursday and Friday. And then I don't have any plans this weekend, it's just kind of crazy. Other than, you know, Easter, which I have to discuss with my hubby what he wants to cook. Maybe we'll have friends over after church on Sunday instead of going out to eat. I think that would be fun. And let's see. Probably plan a potluck after church on Sunday. Uh, going to the movies on Friday night, my plan is to go see a superhero movie. I think the, I'm not positive, but I think the new superheroes movie is out. The one with all, all the superheroes, but if it's just coming out, then it might be too hard to get into, so then we'll pick a different movie to go see. But we've been on a movie kick lately. Saturday, I have no plans. I planned on having a day of just relaxing, but for me, because I have anxiety, it's hard for me to sit still. I might just be cleaning out that room that I told you guys about, and also um, I have to read a book for book club, so that will be something that will keep me busy. I am jumping around now. I went back to the front to do my side, the side area there. And what I'm doing there is the, um, I'm putting down two weekly trackers, one to track my happy mail because I'm expecting some happy mail. I'm hoping to get my new office chair and then some Etsy orders in. And I also ordered some pens online and some, uh, what do you call those, uh, journal books. I'm doing a writing journal book that a trapper's notebook for my writing that idea I got from Sarah Cannon and she is also here on YouTube you should follow her also for the month of April I start my no bread no pasta challenge or I should say abstainment because my voice has been acting up again because of all the gluten I've been eating so <clears throat> as you guys could probably tell right now I sound like I have a cold but I don't it's the gluten so, and then on the bottom one, I want to track like my moods for the day. Not exactly sure how that's going to go, but I thought I'd do it just to see how it, <laughs> just to, thought it would be something cool to do. No real reason for it. Okay, there's the Washi Wednesday sticker that also came from the Sendler. Super cute. And the bottom of Tuesday, I added a half box just in case something comes up. I will know what to put there. Now I'm redoing Thursday. I'm moving the Trash Day sticker up because... Uh, something, um, in case something comes up on Thursday, I want to be able to, uh, fit, write it down there. So, uh, and then I'm using one, another one of those cute little bows from Ben. And then lastly, I'm using another half box. I'm turning, I end up turning that one sideways for Friday, no, for Saturday to, you know, mark something that comes up once again. And the reason I will go ahead and fill these out is because I have leftover stickers. There's enough stickers and... I always, almost always end up filling them out. This, something comes up or just a little note about something funny. Uh, the sticker that I'm sticking up now is from Bubba Bear Studios, one of my super favorite Etsy shops. She has the funniest stickers. And for Sunday, of course, I'm going to be going to church and celebrating. For those of you that are Christian, I hope you have a wonderful experience. Uh, exciting Easter. We're surrounded by friends and family. Remember the reason and rejoice. 
I hope you guys have a wonderful week and that you like this video. And yeah, so this is it for this week. I love the way it turned out. I think it looks really pretty and festive. So have a wonderful day. Bye, you guys.